Every term we create new course shells and they start out empty. If you've taught a course before, one of the things that you're going to want to do is copy the course material from a previous course into the new course. Let's show you how to do that. The first thing that you want to do is log into Blackboard and go to the course where you have the course material. So in this case, I have course material in this course called Sandbox. So I'm using it as a test. So I have a variety of different content in here and I want to move it over to my new course shell that's empty. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down until I get to the very bottom and where I have my course management tools. I want to go to package and utilities. So I'll open that up. And one of the options I have is course copy. So I'm going to select course copy. So from this course copy, the first option is select the copy type. So what I want to do is actually copy it into an existing course because the course already exists. It's empty, but the course exists. Next, I want to find the designation course ID. Best way to do that is click on the browse and do a search for typically your CRN. I don't have a CRN for my particular course, so I'll look for the word test. And the course that I've just created um, that's empty is called Scrab It Test. So I'm going to select that one. But normally you would be associating it with your CRN or if it's a merged course you'd be looking for that. So you select that particular course. Click on Submit. And so it'll put that information in the designated course ID. At that point you are going to want to select all. Um, in most cases, right? I mean, there, there may be some cases where um, you're only going to copy specific things, but in most cases, you're going to select all, which then selects all your content, uh, your announcements. If you don't want to bring your announcements over, you just un uncheck it. Okay, but I'm going to bring my announcements. Any discussion boards that you had, um, Include starter posts if you want. Any glossary, everything, right? And then down at the bottom, copy the links, copies of the content, including the entire course home folder. What you don't want to do is include enrollment. So make sure that you do not check this. Okay, leave that, uh, leave that unchecked. And with everything selected appropriately, you click on Submit. So you'll receive an email when it's done. But if you go over to that course, it will be in process. So let me scroll on over to my new course. There's my Scrabbit test. It'll tell me um, that there's a copy running. So I'll select that. And this yellow bar will tell you the status. So we'll wait a couple seconds. I'll refresh. Apparently it's a lot of material. But we can see, you know, that it starts to, to move the content over and I'm starting to get all my content as it's coming into this course. And then I'll just have to reorganize it when it gets here. Still running. And yet still more content.
Oh, and now we're done. Okay, so it is complete. I can go ahead and cl close that message. And that is all there is to, to uh, copying your course from one course to another.